up there. What did I type in in the end? Let's have a look. Yeah, I want to bake free by Queen. Let's face it, it's a solid 10. Hello and welcome back. Today I want to talk about how to make the most of your QNAP and its HDMI port because a number of you out there have bought your NAS for multimedia purposes but let's face it, multimedia living on the NAS isn't going to do you a lot of good. You want to be able to access it in the way that you want and on the devices you want. Now of course you can stream all your media online or via the network but what I'm going to talk about today is utilising that HDMI port that's connected to your smart TV or just your basic box standard HD TV and give you the ability to access Kodi for your TV and your media. You know, your stuff like your movies and your box sets, that sort of thing. But for music, give you the ability to not only listen to it on Kodi, but also access the Spotify interface with all your playlists and all your login directly from your HDMI port on your monitor that you can control with your remote control and thereby, thereby giving you an entire Spotify play center directly from your TV. So, first things first, when you've got your QNet up and running, here's my one in the background here, you want to head over to the app center, which is what we're gonna do now. And in the app center, you have to sign up to some an unofficial app center because what we have up here is the official app store otherwise known as the QNAP App Center. But there's another one with unofficial applications known as the QNAP Club. Now in the QNAP Club, that one there, the way to add it, so before we go into that club, what we need to do is you go into settings up here in the top right, um, allow installation of non-QNAP store apps, so click that, go to app repository, add a new one, so I've already added it, but what we'll do, so you go to edit, and then add this URL. Again, it should be in the comments, but you should be able to see it there on the screen. And it's qnapclub.eu slash en slash repo.xml. What that does is give you access to the unofficial app store. These are apps that QNAP hasn't completely signed off on, and these are apps that are technically unofficial. And in there is Kodi and Spotify. So once you've done that, do give it a name, but of course I've named it QNAP Club. Once that's done, once it's added, click close, and then the app store should appear here. If you go into it and it doesn't give you any results, chances are that's because it hasn't done a refresh yet. What you need to do is come out of the app center and go back in, and then what you're seeing on screen will be available. And there's loads of apps here that are either work in progress, demo, or just not quite polished enough for QNAP to give them the old tick box. So in here, if we scroll uh, as we go along here, we will find first and foremost, the first app we're gonna talk about today, where is it? Um, is Kodi version 17, Kodi 17 right there. Now you may have noticed others, what we'll talk about in other videos, stuff like Lemmings and MAME and stuff like that. And some of these are very CPU dependent. You have to make sure the CPU on your device will support it. But almost all of these, as long as you've got an HDMI port, should run. Now, of course, at the bottom here, while we're carrying on, we have got Spotify somewhere eventually, unless we've already gone past it and I'm just too silly to see it. Spotify, let's have a look. Look at that, Spotify is not currently available on there, but you know what we will look at as well, just for another video, just to show you how easy it is to install it. This is a kind of Mario Kart rip-off game, um, and we're going to add that, and Super Kart is actually an official game, I'm saying that, it is readily available online, but maybe there's been an update, who knows. There are other app centers available, do remember that, but here we have uh, the ones that are currently available, for some reason Spotify is not on there, maybe it's got a different name, let's do a quick check. And there we are, Q Spotify. That's why, because it's the Q QNAP Spotify. And as you can see, I've already installed it. And what we'll do, because obviously what we're looking at here is a desktop interface, what we want to see is the HDMI interface. So I'm just going to switch over uh, to a pre recording that I did there of the HDMI port being used. Okay, so here we are. This is the HDMI interface with HD Station. Make sure you've got it installed. And as you can see, we've got our Spotify app installed and we've got Kodi Crypt on there, otherwise known as Kodi 17. So what we'll do is we'll start making our way into that, and as soon as we click that, and remember, in the HDMI um, HD station interface, you can set one of these as default as you see fit. And as you can see, other apps have been installed along the way too. So if we go into that Kodi Krypton, we'll get that clicked, and we'll see this, and I'm controlling this, not right now, as you can see, it's a pre-record, that video, but this lets us see the inside of the Kodi Krypton interface. And we will talk about some of those other apps in other videos. Everything from LibreOffice, HD Player, the Pool Simulator, and that secret Mario Chronicles, whatever it is. But 
Straight away, as you can see, on our QNAP NAS, we have got the Kodi interface. And straight away, it's got all those options on the side. You can add all of the, you know, uh, the different themes. You can add the add-ons. Be, be legal. Make sure you be legal. Don't ruin this for everyone else. But Kodi, as you can see, is running at full speed. There's no lag there. Uh, this is running on a TS253A, I should add. Uh, but, of course, it will run on other systems as well. So we're going to exit Kodi. And now we're going to make our way into the next application. Of course, we're going to look at Spotify. Now, a lot of you out there are wondering, why bother with Spotify? You can get it on your phone, in a tablet. Why bother? But what I'm saying is, this gives you the ability to access the Spotify application and all of its playlists and all of its music streaming directly via that HDMI port. And remember, that's what you're seeing. You're seeing this being displayed via HDMI and me controlling it. Yes, I was using a, 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 a USB wireless keyboard because there's no way I was going to enter that and get it wrong. And as you can see on the screen, I get it wrong about eight bleeding times, but uh, that's because I ended up creating a fake login for this video and I was trying to remember the fake login. So in this case, I think I went with NAS compares. There we are on the screen and a simple password. Again, I'm sure you can figure out what it was, what it was and you can go straight into it and then we'll see this in use. And of course, that keyboard being Americanized, they'd swapped around the at, which is a real pain. So here we are via the HDMI port. Uh, we are accessing now the Spotify interface via our NAS, and we're able to play music. And it's just like anyone that's ever used Spotify, Spotify before. It's very easy to use. You can upgrade to the premium one, or of course, you can access any playlist. I think I chuck in a, a song by Queen, I believe, or something in the top there. What did I type in in the end? Let's have a look. Yeah, I want to bake free by Queen. Let's face it, it's a solid 10. Let's be honest. Anyway, so that really is it. That is how to install um, Spotify and Kodi on your QNAP NAS for access via HDMI. Don't forget to check out my other videos. We're going to look at some of the other apps available. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Cheerio.